What's up guys, thank you for joining me for another episode on Worth Thinkers. If this is your first time, my name is Sibiu. And if you like this type of content, do make sure that you subscribe also hit the notification bell. So you won't miss any future videos. So let's jump straight into this video. I made a video uh, of the coming of the new Messiah. Religious, re religious apostasy. So definitely apostasy will arise in the church. And... Uh, the Bible reads, it says, And Jesus answered and said to them, Take heed that no man deceives you. Right? And so he comes in a form of knowing the Torah, knowing the... Now, most of you in the comment section, you've recommended that uh, I do some research or watch some videos concerning the Hebrews movement. Uh, and uh, I actually found uh, some, of, some of the outlets or some of the videos that best explain so i actually take a look at some of the things and um, i don't know if you guys know mike winger but uh, mike winger is actually one of my favorite bible teachers and uh, he actually did a whole series on the hebrews uh, roots movement uh, i think until part four so i will leave those links in the in the description and you guys can check those videos up. I think he did a very good, good job in explaining or giving us a, a, a thoughtful and careful study through the Hebrews movement. And I think uh, mainly those guys, they focus on the law, which is the Torah. I think in the previous video, I uh, actually made a mistake. Uh, the, the, the Torah is actually just the law, five books in the, in the, in the Old Testament. But I uh, just wanted to correct that one. Thank you guys for your comments. But um, nevertheless, um, guys, what you need to understand that the law is actually a very beautiful and good thing. Because uh, without the law, we would never knew that we would need someone that can actually, like the law points to Christ, right? right? And uh, grace is that solution. Like the law shows you the problem, but then Christ gives you the solution. And so I don't think they find the balance between uh, those things which they, like it's just things that they observe, right? But it never brings them to the fullness of God. It never uh, like sort of save them out of, uh, out of the law because I, I believe the law is, a, is good. The law is righteous. The law is holy like the Bible describes it. But then God gave us grace which is sufficient which can solve the problem which is showing you what is wrong with you but actually grace can fix you but today i also wanted to just make an extension of that particular thought and i just wanted to give you a thought because uh, i know that most of us when we look at uh, a coming of a prophet or when a new prophet comes to the horizon or where there's a new movement that spring forth from from what we know or what we don't know um, and they come forth now i want to take you to the revelation of god which is the bible uh i want you to take a look at deuteronomy 13 uh verse 1 to 5 and i just want to show you something i think i dealt with this scripture in the past but i just want you to understand what God is saying. He says, if a prophet or one who foretells by dreams appears among you ne, and announce to you a sign or a wonder. Now, most of us, we love this kind of mystical things that is going around in churches today where someone comes, he performs a sign or wonder. And those things come to pass or they... Uh, the dream that you were told come to pass god actually says there is not the test by which you prove that it's a true prophet like you can't say based on the reality that things has come to pass you making a claim and saying no this prophet is from god now listen to what god is saying in verse 2 he says and if that sign or wonder spoken of takes place meaning it comes to pass it comes into effect. It became a reality. 
So that's not the measure by which you use in order to establish whether that's a true prophet or false prophet. Like some of you, you say, no, he performs the signs of Amish, it must be from God. God is saying in Deuteronomy, yes, it will come to pass. Some of the things he says he'll come to pass, some of the things that he foretells will come to pass. But God says, let us, f and, and comes and that prophet says to us, yeah, let us follow after, let's follow other gods or God you have not known and let us worship them. Now here, the Bible gives an indication of where this leads it's like you know they sort of take you in this mystical feeling where they are taking you into an area which is unfamiliar that's why god is the bible is suggesting that let's follow up other gods i don't think a prophet will openly declare to you that we are following after gods no he will just introduce to you certain teachings philosophies certain things that happens rituals that is performed within the within the church organization, which is contrary to the Bible. That is following other gods. And that's why some of us, we still pray, like just a very, very uh, natural example, if I can call it that, because it has become so common, is the God of Major One, the God of Alf Lukau, the God of who and who and who. Those are gods we don't know. Those are gods that is not, described in the bible those are gods that clearly state what the scripture is trying to prevent it is let us follow after after other gods verse 3 says you must not listen to the words of that prophet or dreamer so number one in this particular video is it is not you you, you don't make a truth uh, conclusion by the prophecy coming to pass because the bible suggests that it will right it can come to pass but that is not the measure you use to establish whether this prophet is from god or not here we need to look into what they are saying what is the fruits that they are carrying what is this christians professing out of their mouth this prophets and he says let us not follow after those prophets or those dream of these, the Lord your God is testing you to find out whether you love him with all your heart, with all your soul. And there the Bible gives a description of again, Deuteronomy 6 verse 5, where it indicates our priority of loving God. It is the Lord your God you must follow and him you must revert. Keep his commandments and obey him serve him and hold fast to him now there is what god wants you to do is to first priority should be god what is god's thought over what i'm doing right and 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 that is the indication one should give so so here comes this new messiah here comes this new religion here comes this new thoughts god is suggesting to us that we need to follow him we need to hold fast to him the bible says that prophet or dream of dream must be put to death that is something we don't do today uh, uh, for rebellious against the Lord your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt, redeemed you from the land of slavery. That prophet or dreamer tried to turn you from the way of God and command you to follow. You see, and that is the very same problem that God wants to avoid. It is preachers that come, ministers, prophets, whoever is coming in the name of God, right? and deceives you like like in this particular video deceives you to think that by performing dreams by performing signs and wonders and giving you dreams and all these visions and all this perspective you must follow them no god is saying you need to serve him you need to hold fast to him you need to obey him you need to uh, 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 learn to hold fast to what god has given us and uh, those are some of the things that we do not want to do but hey guys, I hope that this scripture will help you to carry out your obedience towards God. And uh, make sure that you check out the pinned comments to see if there's any other videos that was done today. I just want you to go through this particular verse and be vigilant and uh, analyze. The Bible says that we need to examine every spirit. So make sure that you do that by using God's word. The standard by which we use 
is the word of God, which is, which, which is objective above all.